Crabble Stitch really likes the sound of his own voice. The principal. You have crossed that line! They nice ever come you up with anything by my new. office on your way to prison, young man. Let's see what we've got, shall we? Arrested again, huh? I suppose you think of that as a good early start. Having trouble concentrating in Ms. Phillips' class? A little physical labor might set you straight. I think you're worth a try. That is all, Hopkins. Time to pay back the faculty for all their kindness! I don't think you know what kindness means. That's enough. You can count on Jimmy. I'll teach you a lesson. This morning, I woke up and said, I'm going to Have we here, if it isn't young Hopkins again? Time to look at your record again. All this fighting, what is it? Video games? You seem to be constantly in trouble, Jimmy. <laughs> Seems to like you just that old left fool. my office and now you're back again. Looks like you've been quite busy, eh, huh, Jimmy? You seem intent on claiming the spot as Bullworth's number one troublemaker. Maggot! You're gonna mow the lawn at Bullworth! Who you calling Maggot, Maggot? I've totally huh? changed my I was mind hoping after I wouldn't that see you for a while. No rest for the wicked certainly applies to you, it seems. Another fight? How many this week, Jimmy? How many? You know you really shouldn't struggle when the prefects approach you. Well, I don't suppose labor will really help the situation, but it's worth a try. And I want you to stay out of trouble from now on. You can do a little public service, it'll do you good. Go mow the lawn. Isn't there a law against slave labor?
seconds, that's enough.
nothing wrong. <laughs> hey there. I should write you up for that shirt. I was just on my way to Dr. Crabblesnitch's office. 